Hello everybody, today we are going to be working on our canal city and we're going to be doing something a little crazy. We're going to be using cable cars as transportation. Yes, you heard it. It is crazy, but honestly I tried it in my test builds and it actually comes out really cool and, and a lot of people use it. And so I'm actually excited about it. We're also going to be pretty much demolishing our university and then redoing it. Um, I'll talk about it once we get to it and then we are going to be turning our city into a very bike friendly city and so before we jump into it I did want to go over a few things that I did off camera I went ahead and pretty much decorated this entire area I just did a bunch of trees everywhere I went for more of an organized chaos in here I wanted it to look natural I wanted it to look like this neighborhood had overgrowth um, I ended up putting in some flowers and stuff I honestly if you guys watched the River Hills episode just from the other day, you'll see that I kind of discovered using these flowers like this. And it's more like a flower cluster, but I really like it. I think it's great. They're kind of hard to see, but when you look down at it, it's almost just like wildflowers are growing. Some of them do look like they're planted, but I just I really like the look that it gives us. And then we do have a couple suggestions as well. I got an awesome suggestion from a commenter by the name of AJ to name Beechwood District to Keystone Villas and I actually really like that name so thank you so much for the suggestion I super appreciate it Keystone Villas and I think it's really fitting I had another suggestion to name this to the fingers which would make sense because they are kind of like little fingers but I felt like Keystone Villas really kind of captured that this was an upscale very trendy area and then the cable car suggestion actually came from the commenter named Josh Posh and he had mentioned how in Colombia there are two cities, Median and Bogota, that use cable cars in conjunction with their metro systems. And I thought it was just so cool. I'd honestly never heard about it before. And so I, I uh, did a little quick search and was looking at how they use them. And, and sure enough, they have their metro systems have stop-offs at cable car stations that actually lead up the hills. And so it is a little unique in the city because we don't have hills, but... I thought it was just a really fun idea and it's a really easy way for us to connect up these islands and so I'm super excited about it. But first we are going to jump into our university and kind of lay out our foundation and so let's go ahead and jump right in. So I went ahead and pretty much deleted everything in here except for the main building and then except for our lovely clock tower little quad space area. And um, the reason why we're doing this is because we really just don't have enough space in the city. I want to be able to fit the bulk of our university within these two squares. And then we probably will have maybe a couple satellite campuses. I'm not really sure. Um, and then I think maybe a sporting complex on here or this island possibly. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and let me know. Um, I do a lot of research. I try to spend time on like Reddit and watching other creators to come up with fun ideas. But a lot of times I get stuck. And so, um, you know, suggestions can go a long ways to kind of give me ideas and keep you guys involved and stuff like that. And so we are going to place the School of Engineering back in. I, I didn't mean to delete it, but... I ended up using the move it mod to delete everything and it just kind of, you know, has a mind of its own. And so we are going to go ahead and draw a road in here and I want to be in the middle. So it looks like it's about 20 units. So I'm going to go 10 units up. Yeah, it's right where that node is. Perfect. And I did a wrong road. We do not need a super sidewalk. And so we will come back over here and we'll go across and we will go one square out again. And it looks like we're having some issues, but I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to a ground piece. And then we're going to jump into the move it mod, grab the node, and then control H at the correct height. And there you go. And so we have a couple considerations. I want to do kind of a historical district, historical university here. Anybody who watched my Zilla Wood series um, got to see me do the university campus uh, kind of in a suburban European district and I thought it was really cool so I actually got a few assets off the steam workshop I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because um, we are not lined up with this other road so I want to come off of this road we're gonna connect it up right there but then we are going to go to unmodded we're gonna come up over here and it looks like I uh, no, we're straight we're good no we're not so I'm gonna jump in to move it we're gonna go to snapping and I'm going to just use this to make it straight. It should be good. Yeah, right there, it's perfect. And then that way we should be able to just come across now. And then let's go ahead and connect that up. Yeah, perfect. It is at a little bit of an angle, but the only other way to fix it was to do like a curve or something. And so I felt like this was a good, good location for it. Um, I do want to come over here though and just clean up our key walls real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this node underneath the road. And then what I'm going to do is just drop it down under the road so that we can get 
That perfect little uh, slope down there. It does look like we got some bushes on here too. I don't know if that would be good. I mean, I feel like bushes in the road could cause some problems. So we definitely don't want that. And so I want to do a pattern in here that is going to make sense for what we're trying to do. So I want to do our dormitories on this side. And then I think we're going to leave this side empty for right now. We did already hit the next unlock, and so we're gonna be able to place down some more buildings. So I think we will, let's go ahead and jump into a one unit road. And we're gonna go like right there. And it looks like I raised off the ground for some reason. So we're gonna go like that. And then we are going to do the same thing right here. We're gonna come like right in the middle. Kinda wish that was close. So what is that, 10 units? Let's go 10 units again, and we'll have this bottom section be a little off. We're going to go ahead and delete that and fix that real quick. Uh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. And it, I don't know why it's not delete. Oh, I have collision off. That's why I was like, why are the bushes not disappearing? There you go. I mean, unless we just want to leave the bushes, we could just be known as, you know, the university campus that has a bunch of bushes in it. And so now we are going to jump into dormitories in our lovely liberal arts campus section. And we're going to go... No, let's um, put them right here. I think this will be good. So we're going to go this one. And then what we're going to do is put two right next to each other. I'm going to try to line up those roofs. Yeah, we're going to go like right there. It's almost like just a really big dormitory. I think this is going to look great. And so now we need to do a study hall again. And I think we're going to do the study hall right here. And then so we did the groundskeeping. We need to do the drama club again. Let's go ahead and put the drama club back here because we can put the whatever other club we unlock here soon right there as well. And that could be like the club section. And so we unlocked the liberal arts outdoor study, the liberal arts gymnasium and the liberal arts cafeteria, as well as the liberal arts fountain. That is fantastic. We did not unlock any more schools. It looks like we get our next school at renowned. Let's go ahead and see. Um, so we're actually already almost at the student capacity. We just need to up our attractiveness, which um, it's just because we don't have a ton of buildings. So, not too worried about that. We are going to have that in just a jiffy. And so now what I want to do is jump in here and we're going to go ahead and do a road like right there. And then we're going to come up here and do a road like right there as well. I think that looks good. The goal is to create kind of like a disorganized pattern in here. A lot of these older cities um, are designed in a different way versus newer cities. And so it's not all symmetrical. A lot of it is just based off of where people need to be. And so I want to try to use these one unit roads, almost like paths. And uh, I really like them. They're almost like alleyways. And so I think it's a cool look. So we're going to jump in here now and let's go ahead and place this like right here. I think this is going to be a fantastic location for this. And I want to kind of tuck it back so that we can pretty much take up this whole section. Yeah, look at that. Let's see if we're getting a not connected section. We're not. So we are good. And so now let's go ahead and connect up these paths just so that we can, uh, Make it look like it's actually meant to be here rather than the paths just kind of being in the middle of this field. So we're going to go like that. And then we are going to come up over here, connect these up. Bada bing. Perfect. And there we go. And our bushes are still on top. So we're going to go ahead and take those down. Yeah, you know what? That is perfect. I really like it. I think it looks great. And so let's go ahead and place down this gymnasium now. And because the dormitories are over here, everything's pretty much over here. I think right here is going to be great. And then I think we will do the liberal arts fountain across the road. Yeah, you know what? I actually really like that. I think that looks great. We could even connect this road up to this corner. Let's go ahead and do that. I think that is going to be great. So we're going to come up over here, turn back on snapping, and then we are going to turn it into our corner. There we go. So now we pretty much blocked off this whole side and I'm tempted to even push this back. I wonder if we're going to get a disconnected notice though. We did. So I wonder if we can turn it sideways. Let's go like this. Yeah, nice. And then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and decorate it up real quick. Nothing too crazy, just to kind of clean it up. And there we go. You know, and I think that looks really good. I uh, just went ahead and used some of these um, tiles that were already in here. I just used Find It. They're in the game. So if you just search up tile or decal, I believe it's decal. You can just pop them up and then place them down and then I use move it to copy them. Then I just did some trees and stuff. Wanted to extend the, the plaza out. I think it looks good. It's great for the area. And so now let's go ahead and see what else we can place. We do have to be mindful for the amount of space we're going to need. So I think all of this we will probably save for 
the next school. And then I think we will probably save this as well. And so I do want to go ahead and paint this as a district. And what we're going to do is go into district styles and we are going to change this to European. And we are going to place down some residential um, so that people could live on campus, but then also some offices. It's really common to have office space around universities. And so I wanted to uh, try to get some of that. We are going to remove zoning off of this road just so that we can get full zoning off of this. I do want this to be level somewhat level it does look like uh, i think it's just because of that but we should get full zoning for some reason it's not giving it to us and so now what we will do is just go around i think we're going to remove zoning off of that and then let's go ahead and remove zoning actually no we'll keep zoning on here let's go ahead and remove zoning off this back road so we can get full zoning in there i think that'll be good and then we will go in here oh it looks like we forgot this little corner if we want to take that out we're going to fill in this space with residential. We're going to fill in this space with residential. We're going to fill in that space with residential. And then let's go ahead and fill in this space with offices. We'll do this one with offices as well. Let's go ahead and remove that little corner. And then I think we will do some more residential right here. But I think that's it. I want to leave this space empty for us to be able to maybe do another one of the plazas or something. And I think that's going to be good. It's going to provide a little bit of residential, which we're, we have a huge residential demand, which is great. But then it's also going to provide a little on school, on campus living for people who don't want to live in the dorms, which is super common. And so now that we have that, let's go ahead and do our cable cars while this is all growing out. This is kind of crazy. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Uh, it's really funny um, how much these are used. It really is crazy. They're so heavily utilized. It's, um, it's kind of nuts. And so I do want to come in here. We're going to end up putting in two stations right here. We're going to have a cable car going right and we're going to have it go connect up right here, then to this island and then land over here in the industrial area. And then we're going to have a cable car go from here, go over here, land on this island and then come up over here as well. It does still leave a little bit of room for this island. I wonder if maybe we'll just... I think we'll disown some of this and then connect up a cable car right here because this island is connected by Metro, which is already connected, but this island is not connected by anything. And so what I want to do is go in here. We're going to dezone all of this. And there's a couple reasons I want to do this. I really want to make this couplet a main arterial for our downtown because we decided to only do one freeway. We have a high chance of running into some traffic issues, especially as we start expanding. And so one of the things we need to do is um, ensure that people can move freely off of this road quickly. And so um, one of the easiest ways to do that is to just uh, take your zoning off of the road. And so that's what we're going to do. We are going to create little back roads that are going to allow us to, and it looks like I messed that up allow us to put zoning on the backside and not really have to worry about it as much. I do want to move this back just a smidge. Yeah, like right there. I think we'll bring this up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we will come back in here, go to zoning adjuster. Now we're going to remove all zoning off of this front road. And this is really going to go a long ways to help us to manage traffic because now people are going to be able to move freely on this couplet, which is so important, especially as we start extend, extending out this way, the idea is that people can just jump on the couplet and get out of the city pretty quickly, or at least get up here pretty quickly. And so I think it's going to be a smart idea. Now we can come back in here. We are not going to do high density. I feel like that would uh, be a bad choice for this area. Bad choice. And so now let's go ahead and get rid of those. And then let's paint this in. I think that's good. And then now let's go ahead and flip these around. I'm going to go like this. Flip this around as well and flip this around. And you know, it's so funny. Um, we really didn't need to flip those around because these aren't services. They actually don't receive orders. And so I may go back through and flip those back because those are our primary connection for this area. And so now that we have that, what I want to do is jump in here, use a picker mod and turn these into ground pieces, both of them. And then I want to put our cable car stops off of these. So we're going to go right there and it looks like we have to move these anyways. I don't know why I like just totally got sidetracked. So we're going to put that right there and then we're going to put that right there and then let's jump back in here. Let's put that right there. Perfect. This is going to be great access for our metro system. It's really going to be a, a very helpful redundancy for the area. That's one of the ways that you can manage traffic is 
just by having multiple forms of transportation, even going to the same areas. And so now let's figure out where we're going to put stops. So we know I cleared this area for a stop. So I think we're going to do one right here. And I think it'll be the left one. And then we can have this come up here. And I'd identified this area as a stop as well. You know, I think we'll just do it right there. And then we can just do a bridge across. I think that'll be great. Okay, so we are going to use a station right here for this one. And then we will have it cut through the buildings, go over here. And then we're going to put a station up over here. We're going to have to uh, declare eminent domain on a house. I think it's okay. We have um, this elementary, so maybe we can put it like right here. And then we are going to cut it this way and have it land right here. And so we're going to end up having two stops kind of across the water from each other, but it's going to really help to provide some great access. And so I did jump into the Bob mod and pretty much removed all uh, all the trees for this and the reason is because this sits so far back I want to be able to move it in and so now um, it does have that path in there but I'm not super concerned about it so we're gonna go ahead and go like that and then let's go ahead and place our second one in here so we are going to come this way we're gonna come up like right over here you know let's actually go across from the water I think that is gonna be great so we'll go right there and then we are going to turn. All right, and then we are going to come up here and go back to our end of line. I actually think we'll do uh, one more like this and we'll, we will turn back on collision. Oh, it's on. For some reason it just uh, didn't delete anything though. So I'm gonna come in here, get rid of those. And then we will grab our end of line and we're going to come all the way down here. And I hate to do it, but we are going to declare imminent domain on just a little bit of the space, not a ton. We just need a, enough for the cable car to come down safely, not on top of a building, hopefully, and then uh, land at our stop. So look at that. Perfect. And so now we have one whole line. We have a stop right there, a stop right there, stop right here stop right there and then lands right there. I think that is perfect. And so we're going to grab this one and we're going to come up over here and we're going to go right in the middle of this right next to the park. It's got great access. It's kind of next to a crematorium, which isn't great, but uh, it provides much needed access for this area. And so then we're going to come up over here and we are going to get rid of just a little bit of zoning here. I hate to do it. It's just having to turn this this sharp would be almost impossible. And so we are going to get rid of the zoning right next to the school. And we're going to go like this and then go in and delete them. Ooh, it looks like we got another crematorium. This might be like a crematorium tour or something. And so we'll jump in here, go like this. Perfect. Look at that. And then we are going to cut this way and we will land. You know, let's put one right here. Let's put it next to the street. We'll go like right there. And then we're going to have it end right up here. You know what? That is so great. And then uh, one of the things to be mindful, the cable car towers do go pretty tall, but the max height of 157 it tends to be like, I mean, it's even taller than most skyscrapers. We don't need to be that tall. Um, even for this area that's going through the skyscraper area, we're probably only going to go to about, uh, I think, 90 or something like that. So we're going to grab that. We're going to go ahead and turn off snapping so that we can make sure to get a nice clean look. And I wanna turn off collision as well. And so what we are gonna do is we are going to turn right so that we don't hit that zoning and we're gonna go up to 98 and then we are going to go straight across and then we are going to connect up to our station. We're gonna go like that and then we can come back down safely. We wanna look at how tall that is. That still is pretty, pretty tall, but I think that that is reasonable. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut through this section and then we are going to have to demolish some commercial buildings. I actually think we can go over these and then land at our other station over here. And so we are going to go like this. Let's go back up to 98. Nice. And then let's snake it through here without demolishing anything crazy or landing in the middle of the road. Let's come up over here. Nice. Look at that. And then we go on the outside. Let's go ahead and turn it. So we're going to come up like right here and we're going to come up over here. Let's go on the back side of these homes and then land in our station and then come back up over here, go back up to 98. And then we are going to have to cut across, but I would prefer not to cut across residential. I feel like that would just be terrible. And so we are going to cut across the road. Let's go ahead and follow the road a little bit here just so that we don't mess with the zoning completely. Let's cross over the Metro. 
come up over here and it looks like we went just a little too far. I'm going to go ahead and back that up just a smidge. We're going to go like this and then we're going to come down and that is perfect. Look at that. Fantastic. And then now what we're going to do is go back up to 98. We're going to come this way and then we're going to go all the way down. And you know what? I actually want to put this on the backside in case we ever want to do like commercial zoning right here. Because uh, having the pillars does get rid of the zoning. Um, though I think we we could probably still uh, get zoning in there somehow. I just uh, don't want to have to worry about it. So we're going to go like that. We're going to come back. We're going to hit right there. And then we are going to cut in. And let's go ahead and make sure that that angle is not too bad. It isn't. It uh, definitely hits that tree though. That would not be good. So if you're in a cable car and you all of a sudden see a tree coming... Something's wrong. Sure that we don't have any crazy trees over here too. That looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. This would actually be really fun. This is like a ride for the city now. Like people would probably be coming to Canalville just to ride the cable cars. They'd be like, man, they got like a whole cable car system in the city. I mean, I know I would want to check it out, especially this like going through the skyscrapers one. This one's a little close. I feel like this might be dangerous. It's like hitting the building. So I think we're going to have to go across the road. Is that one in the building too? Oh no, look at that. Perfect. So it goes through. It's almost like a divergent where they're like flying through all those buildings. This would be kind of fun. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw out the next one. And we're just going to go from right here to right there, up here, right there, and then land right there. Nice. Just got it done. Got it all in there. And you know what? I think it's going to be really cool. So let's go ahead and check out our stations and see what we're looking at. Um, when I did this in my test builds, these became the most popular uh, forms of transit in the city. It was kind of crazy to actually beat our metro out. So right now we are looking at $5.79 per week in residence and then four tours for our metro. And so we will see in just a little bit, but we can already kind of see. I think people are already queuing up. Yeah, look at all these people. Um, and these hold only 30 people per, per gondola, but... They uh, come so quickly and they move out so quickly. I mean, it's just constantly pumping people like all these people can come in and they get out so fast. And so let's go ahead and look at our other stations now. So we got this one right here. Let's go ahead and check in here. Uh, it's got some people. It's not crazy, though. That one's right there, though. So I'm not too surprised that it's not super busy. And this one's not bad either. So I think um, while we're over here, I'm actually going to zone this in as residential. I was kind of waiting to see what we we're going to do with the space, but I think this would be good. I do want to straighten this out, get rid of the power line. And then what we're going to do is move these. Ooh, I don't want to do that. So we're going, I'm just going to draw this in real quick. Nice. And so now we have zoning right here, which would be fantastic, especially since we've got such a high demand for residential. And this area is a good spot to have uh, some more... Uh, High density and I really like having the high density on the rivers. This is really the look that I was going for here. I just think this looks so cool. Like uh if you're on one of the ferries, you'd be kind of going through here and all the skyscrapers would be looming over you. But let's go ahead and check out our other stop. So this one is right across the street from our bus station. And it doesn't look like any so it says only 26. Maybe this one's not gonna be that popular. I thought this one was gonna be one of the more popular stops, but maybe not. Let's go ahead and check out the end of line though. Because this one has almost no access by it other than the buses. So there's a few. 26. Oh, so I guess that's every station. I thought it was per station, but I guess not. And so now let's check out this one. So this one's got a few people. Nothing crazy, but let's go ahead and check out the next stop on this one. Which is all the way back here. And this, station, this island does not have coverage. Man, look at that. ton of people are getting off. This is where our mall is. Yeah, our mall's right there. And so I wonder if this one's going to be a huge destination for this cable car. And so now let's jump over here, check this guy out. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's people coming and going. So we're already at 176. Man, I'm really... So we're, we're going to let that run for a minute. And let's go ahead and work on our bike roads. Um, while I was kind of doing the cable cars, I was like, man, we really don't have any bike roads. And then I was doing the River Hills map, too. And uh, I was like, man, we're upgrading bikes in this in this city. Why don't we do it in Canalville, too? I feel like that would just be such a great idea. And so what we're going to do is um, actually upgrade some roads to a six lane. We're going to start identifying some main arterials 
And it's kind of funny after doing some reading on road hierarchy, that was one of the things I came that I found out was that most uh, arterials aren't planned as arterials. They just become arterials over time. And so they end up upgrading the road and upgrading the road until eventually it's like six lanes or eight lanes. So fun fact of the day. And so we are going to use that road. I did a six lane road with bicycles. And the reason I did that is because that's leading into this highway. And we're going to end up doing a um, highway exit on ramp off ramp situation right there. And so now let's jump into another road. I want to do this decorated one four lane boulevard with bikes. And this one is by Bad Peanut. Really like this road. It has a protected bike lane, but then it has um, some some trees. I thought it had trees. What well, has planters and then um, some benches. It's just a great little road. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and upgrade pretty much all of our roads. And then we will go ahead. So I think all of these main roads will do as four lanes or six lanes like I think this one going all the way around will probably do a six lane and then I'm going to upgrade our couplet as well to a three lane one way with bike lane and then I think we're going to put in that exit as well I think this would be a good time especially since we're trying to still uh, upgrade our university and so we'll kind of see how it looks all right so I went ahead and got all the bike roads in and honestly it took a little bit of time um, I did six lane roads on all these major roads. So I did a six lane right there. I did a six lane for this one because it connects our industrial to this area right here. And then I did that six lane before we jumped ahead right here. And then I pretty much did the four lanes with the protected bike lane all the way around with the trees. I really like this one with the benches. I think it's just fantastic. And so now let's go ahead and look at our cable car system. I'm kind of kind of excited about this. Oh, I did um, an uh, interchange right here too. And it's funny, this is definitely going to become our key access point for this area. Before this, it was mainly this road, and we had so many people crossing over here. It was crazy. Um, we do have a pedestrian bridge right there, which is pretty well utilized, but we were definitely in need of, of an interchange down here. And so this is definitely going to help us out a ton. And so um, now let's look at these guys. Let's go ahead and check it out. So we do have some people waiting. It looks like only one, but let's see how many people are walking in here. So there's a couple people parked, so they got like a park and ride situation, which is fantastic. Oh man, this one's like packed. A ton of people are coming out of this one. Oh yeah, look at that. So all these people are arriving on this one. Let's see. Oh yeah, more people. So let's, all right, let's jump ahead and see what these other stations look like. Because these people are coming from somewhere. So it looks like this station is a pretty congested one. Yeah, they're all coming off. So it looks like maybe people are just jumping from over here to over here, from uh, over there to over here, and then um, instead of walking. And so they're probably saving a ton of time. It doesn't look like these other stations are too busy. But let's go ahead and look at our capacity, though, and see uh, see what we're looking at. So 508 for our Metro, 453 for our cable cars, which is just crazy. I, I can't even believe that. All those people. Oh, it looks like, uh, is this one disconnected? Oh, wow. So this one's not even connected to the road. All right. So it looks like this is an elevated piece for some. I wonder if when I upgraded the road, I messed up. It looks like I did. I don't know why I just did that. So I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to go to unmodded. And then I'm actually going to go to forced ground piece. I don't know why it did that. I must have had a forced elevated piece on there. So yeah, that is definitely going to mess with some stuff. So we're going to go like this. I wonder if I did it over here too. I did. Look at that. Wow. So I'm guessing just whenever I grabbed onto this three lane, I uh, kept it elevated. I probably started over here where it was elevated. And then as I came over here, I just kept it for some weird reason. And so now we can unpause and hopefully people start using this again. Because I think that probably messed up over here too. So if we're already at 440 and our stations were messed up, it was probably much higher sorry for the game kind of jumping around but yeah this is great i'm glad we got this going going let's go ahead and check out our university area now and one thing i did want to add in here too that i completely forgot is a parking garage i had gotten a comment talking about how parking would be so important for uh universities and it's kind of funny because i i did that huge parking garage for a university in crater lake and then of course i forget this one and so gonna go ahead and place it right there and then what we're gonna do is see about cleaning it up a little bit because it looks like we're clipping this corner actually you know we're gonna flip it I think over here is gonna be better because what I want to do is do a road through it so that we can kind of make it look a little more uh, realistic people are actually gonna be using it 
So we're gonna go like right here. Let's go ahead and line it up and then let's jump into a two unit road. We're gonna go right here without trees. Actually, let's do a one unit road. It looks like it's much smaller than I was thinking. So then we'll go like this and then what we're gonna do is literally just connect it up on the other side. Perfect, nice. And so now we'll have some access going through. Just gonna make it look like it's a, a little more traveled than it actually is. All right, so let's go ahead and see where our university's at. So it looks like we got enough students. We got a ton of students, but our campus attractiveness is pretty low. We still are missing one academic work, but we uh, will be hitting that soon. And so I think what we're gonna do is add in a few more dormitories. Dormitories are normally a great way to kind of boost up your attractiveness. So we're gonna go right, like right there. I think that's gonna fill up that space well. I think we can even add in one more back here. I hate to do it though. I think we're gonna do our other club right there. So I think we will add in one more dormitory. Let's actually add in two dormitories right here. Yeah, nice, look at that. So we got another super dormitory, big one. And let's see where our attractiveness is now. Cause I think those bump it up by about 30 or 40 each if I'm not mistaken. So we're so close. Let's see if we can place down. Did we get the cafeteria? Ooh, you know, we didn't even place the cafeteria. So we're going to need one of these over here. We're just going to have to figure out where we're going to place our next um, our next building. And then let's go ahead and place a cafeteria back here too. Since these are some more dormitories. This would just allow people who live in these different areas to kind of go to their own cafeteria rather than having to uh, go all the way across the campus. So we're going to go like that. And let's go ahead and check it out now. We should be good, but never know. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And so now all we're waiting for the is the academic works. And so by the next episode, we should be good. And so let's go ahead and do some trees and stuff. We're going to jump in here and we're going, going to go to a live oak. And what I want to do is just kind of fill in these spaces anywhere that you just see like empty ground, nothing going on. I want it to look like it's overgrowth. The buildings have been here a long time. We're going to leave this space empty for now because we still are not sure what we're going to do with it. And then let's jump into this horse chestnut tree. I really like this tree because it gives a nice contrast to that live oak. Yeah, so we'll go like this. Let's go ahead and place a couple in here too, just because we can. So we'll go like that. And then let's try to fill in some of these spaces. Yeah, you know what? I think this is going to be great. We can even fill in back here. And I think these are good. We can fill in and eh, we'll put in a couple back here. Fill these in and you know what? That's probably good right there. Now what we're gonna do is jump into some high vegetation, the small one. And what we're gonna do is just try to fill in some of those bigger gaps, make it look like there's stuff on the ground, like, like some overgrowth or some bushes or something. So we're gonna fill these in, go like this. And then we will come over here, do the same thing. This is just a really easy way to capture a more realistic look with your trees and everything rather than just having like a perfectly manicured area all the time. Even though, I mean, it depends on the style of build because certain builds definitely just go for the perfectly manicured, but if you're going for a more natural look, this works out a little better. So now what I'm doing is just kind of spreading around some wildflowers. I want them to be in the light so you can still see them, but I'm not going to go too heavy. But I just think these are a great way to get a little more realism in here, so I do want to put some trees on these two. Kind of block those uh, those little lines. Come back in here to the flowers. Let's go ahead and put some back here. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I really like the buildings we got coming in here too. So we got this big one over here. I thought we put this as European. Did we mess up? I could have swore. Oh, of course we did. So we got to set this in and then let these buildings grow back in. It kind of sucks because it actually looks pretty good too. Maybe we'll actually leave it what it is. No, we're going to set it in because having these as European buildings is going to really capture a different look. Though I really liked how it looked. I thought that looked great. But I like the congestion of this area. That's really what I was going for with the trees and everything. I think it just looks great. And so um, one of the things I do want to do with this area while we're waiting for those to build back is do a little commercial area because of the of the on-ramps and off-ramps, it would be a great location to have a little shopping center. So I think if we go like this, let's go ahead and straighten this out. And then we are going to grab our Pigger Mod, grab this little road, and then force this into a ground piece just so that we can get our, uh, our road back here. So I'm going to go to a one unit road and I'm going to come all the way back here. 
and I'm going to come all the way up here and I think I'm going to end like right there. I think we'll move that forward. I think that'll be good. So then we will grab this back, go like right there. Perfect. Look at that. I think that looks fantastic. Nice. And then we will come back over here, extend this out. I'm going to go ahead and turn on snapping and then we're going to cut across. Oh, let's go ahead and go right there. And then that way we can just come up here and connect this up. I'm going to turn off snapping so I don't have to worry about any notifications. And I'm going to connect that up. Nice. I think this is going to be great. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a small little parking lot over here so that people would have somewhere to park before they went shopping. All right. And so I put in some parking and so now let's do some zoning in here. And so I don't want any zoning to be off of this road. I think that that would just be terrible. And so now we're going to come in here. I don't want any zoning to be off of these roads either. I'm going to go ahead and dezone those and then let's go and do low density commercial pretty much all the way around. Yeah, I think that's going to be great. And then we will do offices on this waterfront area. Yeah, this would be fantastic. There you go. And then I think we could even do some offices right here too. I'm No, I'm going to leave that cuz it's already really congested right here with the metro and the road. I feel like that would not be a great location. And so I'm going to do water pipes real quick. And there we go. And you know what? This area has already grown back. That was super fast. And I really like this. This was the look that I was going for. It does kind of suck because there's really not a lot of models within the European theme. And so you get a lot of the same building. But this is what I was trying to go for was more of a just a historical campus, a campus that has been around for a long time. I think this looks really good. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section, though, what you guys think. If you liked it without the European or with the European, we'll kind of see as as we go. I think we should be pretty close to hitting this next unlock. Yeah, we are. What is it? Yeah, nine weeks. That's actually not bad. And so looks like on the next episode, we are going to extend our campus. And then I want to do a really big hotel right here. And then I'm already playing with ideas on here. I'm throwing up some pictures on Patreon of some ideas that I'm doing, some skyscrapers right here as well as right here. If you guys have any ideas for the downtown man, go ahead and let me know. Um, Because any new ideas, they really just help me to kind of evolve and, and come up with fresh ideas. And so I super appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place down some trees around our new area. The buildings are sprouting up so fast. It is so crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in some trees probably on the back side and then in between all these cracks and do some more foliage and just kind of clean it up a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and placed down some trees in here. I didn't go super crazy. I just put some flowers in here. I couldn't do a lot because of how much space was in here. But I think it looks good. I went ahead over here as well and did two playgrounds in the space where the cable cars are because we couldn't get any more zoning. And so I felt like putting a park in there was going was gonna to be good. And then I went ahead and put some trees in here too. And I think it looks really good. I went ahead and left this space empty because we are going to be doing a metro line down the middle. And I don't want to place anything down and then have to demolish it later. And so I think that looks really good. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. I super appreciate it. It really helps out the channel a lot. And if you're inter interested in checking out another transit episode, go ahead and click on the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next episode.